Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and this is going to be Lesson 10, Module 1. And we're going to be looking at ratio tables and the errors that somebody has made in these charts and then making them correct here on the right. So first thing I look at is my vertical patterns, just to check. So 3 goes to 5 by adding 2, adding 2, adding 2. So that is okay so far. So then we look here and we say, okay, 24 gets to 40 by adding 16, but 40 doesn't add 16 to get to 52. So we've got, something's got to be wrong roughly here in order for this to happen. So now we're going to look at the horizontal patterns. So we can look at as 24 gets to 3 by 8 or 3 gets to 24 by 8. So this is a multiplying 8 pattern. 5 goes by 8 to get to 40. All right. 7 goes by 8, does not get to 52, but gets to 56. Now let's check here. Is 9 by 8, 72? Yes. So our pattern is an 8 pattern. So we come over here and we rewrite it as a ratio table that is now has equivalent ratios in it. And what I mean by equivalent ratios is if I were to make this into a fraction, 3 24 5 40 7 56, 9 70 seconds, these will all be in a ratio, um, the same ratio. But when we're talking ratio, we usually like to look at it as a unit rate, and a unit rate being um, the one to something. So if we look at the one to a something pattern, one gets to this number, by the same pattern we did here, which was times 8. So 1 times 8 is 8. So that is our ratio. Our unit rate, our ratio is 1 to 8. The ratio is the pattern of 8. And we look at it in the sense that for every 1 hour we work, we make $8. So 3 hours work will get us 24. 5 by our 8 gives us $40, uh, dollars, so on and so forth. So that is our unit rate there. So now let's look at this one. Let's check our vertical pattern. So that's an add three, add three, add three. So we're good there. But here we have an add three, add five, add three. So we know something's wrong in this column. Well, if we notice we have the one to five ratio, which is what we had to make here. So we already know that this is the correct pattern. For every one, there's five. So if there's four, we would go by five. That means these are all incorrect. So this person who originally made this table, I don't know what's going on there. So one goes to five by five. Four times five would be 20. Seven times five would be 35. And 10 times five, which would be 50. Keeping this pattern here of adding three over here would be the adding of 15 if you notice, so that you can easily find the next ones in the sequence. So another way of looking at this ratio is if we had 3 24ths, we divided it by 3, we'd get 1 8th. So, and as always, this is Mrs. Bobby, and I love math. <laughs>